Have you ever listened to a DJ set and you've seen your favourite DJ doing stuff with acapellas you don't even know how they've done it? They're dropping this third acapella or this fourth acapella over loads of tracks and you're going, I can't even get close to that. My acapellas don't even match up. Well, in this video, I'll show you exactly why that is and how to fix that. Beat groove them correctly so you can drop acapellas in any track. Go on those four deck mixes and sound like an insane DJ. Well, you can beat grid acapellas, you have to know where to find them. So for me, there's three main sources where I find my acapellas for DJ. I use DJ Record Pools as well as Vocler.it and Acapella Samples for you. DJ Record Pools obviously have a lot more than just acapellas, whereas the other two are purely acapella based websites. But the last two, they are free. They do offer a premium service, but they are free. Whereas record pools, they're not free. First thing you'll do is find the key of the acapella. It's the most important thing. And for this, you can use the program called Mixed in Key. It's used by loads of big DJs, and it's something that I would recommend you use because it's got the most guaranteed analysis of the song. It will know the track key. But you don't have to. You can always look the track up online as well as trust your analysis in DJ software. So whether you've used Mixed in Key or not, you should know the key of the acapella, and then you want to port it into DJ software. For me, I'm using Recordbox. Before we move on, though, we have to know the BPM of the track, the tempo. It's very important. And I use something called songbpm.com. It's just a website where you can put the name of an artist in a song and it will tell you the BPM of the key of that track. I trust the BPM more than the key on this particular website. Though. So we find ourselves now in Recordbox. And as you can see, for the demonstration, I've ported in the acapella of 17 by MK. It's a classic track. Everybody knows it. And it's not too difficult to work so out. The first thing I'm going to do is set the BPM of the track and the key. Now, I'm not going to trust the analysis in Recordbox because I've done the prior research I was just talking about. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to come over to this little BPM box here. And you're going to change that to what you now know to be the BPM. BPM off the track and then make sure you reload it. Once you've set your BPM, the next thing you need to do, and basically the thing that makes the acapella work, is find the downbeat of the original track. Now the downbeat just means the first beat of each bar and it's very important. The DJ software is just seeing this as the full track, so it sometimes doesn't get that downbeat correct. That's why your acapellas are so hard to match up with other tracks. But the way I find the downbeat is pretty simple. I either go to the full song, if I have the full song in my record box library, or I go to YouTube and I just find the song. I don't use music videos though. Don't use music videos as songs because sometimes the videos have a different sort of twist on the beat initially. Find like a lyric version. We're going to search 17MK in YouTube and we're going to pick a lyric video. Now a lot of songs, you can usually pick up the first beat very quickly just by counting. So what you've got to do, sit there, listen to the song, count it in your head, count it out loud, tap your foot, whatever you need to do, find the beat. And then find the first beat of the bar and how it relates to one of the lyrics in the song. In 17, she enters with you believe, right? So we're looking for what the you is related to the first beat of the bar. So does she come in and say you before the first beat of the bar? Does she say it after the first beat of the bar? Whereabouts in a bar is she entering with that first lyric? Do not assume that the first lyric is going to be on the downbeat of a track. Lyrics tend to play very fast and loose with the beat. Now the best way to know if your track is in time is to use the metronome. So we're coming to record box here. There's a little blue thing you can tick here called metronome on and off. Play it for a bit and listen to the metronome and it will sound right if you've got it right. Very quickly you'll know if you've got it wrong because the click will be completely different and there won't be any melodic vibe to the lyric. First lyric actually is on the downbeat so it's quite a simple way to do this. So all I need to do is go into record box here and I find... I find the U. With this, I tend to turn quantize off because then I can really dial in exactly where I want to set that first beat. Setting the downbeat is so easy in record box. You come over here and you press this one. Set the first beat of the bar to the current position. So once your grid is set, you can see the red bar means the first beat of the bar. We go from there and we have a listen to it. It's flowing with the beat. For acapellas, you, you're never going to get them exactly on the downbeat. You might for some, but a lot of them you won't. As long as you're close, it means you can just nudge it slightly with the jog wheel. However, some songs, they come in straight away. Bang, and you're in. It's quite hard to find the first beat when you don't quite know. It's the first thing you heard in the song, the first beat. You don't always know. A lot of songs like to use pickup beats. So they come in like three, four, and, and they go in. So if you hear that and you think that's beat one, you're already going to be in the wrong place. Very good way to find the first beat if you're unsure of the start of the song. In dance music especially, go to a drop, go to a chorus. The likelihood is a chorus or a drop, especially a drop, is going to be hitting, it's going to be entering on the first beat. Like I said, it's a listening game. It's all a listening game. You need to sit there, headphones on, turn the metronome up and really listen and chug the beat. If you happen to have the track, as well as the acapella, this is the easiest way of doing it. So we're gonna go into two track mode of export mode in Recordbox and matching up the acapella when you have the song is so easy because all you need to do is find the lyrics in the song and match them up to the acapella. So for this example, we're actually gonna to go to a different part of the track. 
lyric, the first U is hitting on the kick drum on the first beat, so we know the downbeat is on the U. You want to make sure you match up the right part of the tune. We're going to sift through the acapella to find the same part of that song, and then we're going to backtrack and match it. We hear the U, and we can actually hear a little bit of the kick drum in the back because it's obviously a DIY acapella. But you can see a lot of the acapella is matching. If you're setting the first beat of a bar in the middle of the track, it doesn't matter because you're just setting the first beat of the bar. You're not setting the first beat of the track. So, record box will also track back. So, in the case of this song, we've now set the beat grid, and we know that the acapella is going to sit nicely in any tune that we play. It with. A couple of things to remember when playing with acapellas. The first one is make sure they're in key. Make sure we're using the T rule on the Camelot wheel. So when you're playing them with other tunes, make sure you trust your ears first, listen to your ears. And the last thing you need to do really is then prep your acapellas however you want. Now this is all comes down to personal preference. Again. You know, where do you want to put your hot cues? Where do you want to put your memory points? Some songs like this, I only have one memory point at the start because I haven't got a lot I want to do with it yet. But for example, Get This Party Started by Pink, I've actually got a loop in place instead. So that's something I do this little mix on. Another thing I have got is I've got a specific naming system for acapellas because it means I can see that it's an acapella and I can see the BPM of the acapella just in the title. I've put it all in the title. So I go title of the song, Acca for acapella, and then 128, 126, 123, wherever it is, being the BPM of the track. That's pretty much everything I do for prepping acapellas. It's not a difficult process by any means, but what it is is time consuming. I probably, probably spent about four hours tidying up just these 31 acapellas the other day. Prep is the most important thing when it comes to DJing. If you do the prep, a lot of the playing the music will be a lot easier. Sometimes, if the lyrics are after a a whole verse and you can't pick up the beat count from the start just sit there and count you can even try searching online for where is the beat there are some songs out there that are so difficult and annoying like take it easy by the eagles that people have actually done videos showing you where the first beat is hopefully you can start djing like your favorite artist and dropping some really cool acapellas going to those three or four deck mixes and sounding really professional like i said it's all about the preparation so make sure you take the time and get your acapellas looking and sounding really good make sure that beat grid is right if you have any questions leave them in the comments of the video i'll try and get back to you don't forget to subscribe like the video share with anyone that might need some help with acapellas and yeah i'll see everybody in 2023 there's some big content coming i hope to see you all there